Welcome back to the U.S. Plastic Court Allen County football preview show. Our attention now turns to the Western Buckeye League, where Wapakoneta ran the table to win the league crown once again. But making huge leaps in the standings, Bill Garland's Bath Wildcats tied for third with OG. And they're trying to move even higher in the standings and into week 11 this year. Last year was a big step for our program, going 7-3. and three, You know, ended the season on a winning streak there, uh, won our last five games. Uh, first time since 2003 we'd had a winning record overall and as well in the WBL. But uh, I think our senior and junior class felt that, you know, something was left out, you know, coming up just a little short on that tiebreaker in the playoffs. So, yeah, we you know, we've... You know, we've used that as motivation. You know, our kids were disappointed when we found out that night. We tell them to refer back to that moment and let's not let that happen again this year. I'm really excited. We've been out here working really hard. Um, younger guys are getting with it. You know, I think it's just all about uh, the senior guys pushing the younger guys. We'll all get there. The Cats will boast another powerful rushing attack this year, coming off a season where they ran for nearly 3,000 yards. We actually had our lifting coordinator do it this year. That's the first time we've done that. Corey St. Clair, he was good. Worked us harder than we've ever been worked before. Our bigger guys are in our freshman and sophomore class, and he really pushed them, so I feel good. Most of the guys that carried the football are back. You know, Caden Sullivan's our leading rusher. He's back. Uh, Bo Gross is back. He was our second leading rusher. Led us in touchdowns, and, you know, he's a big physical force in between the tackles. And Trey Terry's another one that can run the ball inside and outside. He can do both. And uh, Ryan Calves, another guy, he, you know, he got off to a slow start last year with uh, injuries. But he'll be a fourth guy in the mix and carrying the football for us. I think it was really special. I mean, there was people, you know, my freshman year mentored me. And it's just pretty cool that I get to do that to younger people this time this year. The senior class were freshmen when Coach Garland got promoted to head coach in 2013. They've been with me all. This is my fourth year being a head coach, so they know how we want to run the football program. From my standpoint, our assistant coaches, they know what we expect now. Uh, you know, our offense hasn't changed much over those four years. Uh, just a few tweaks in here. So they got a real good grasp of what we want to do with the football offensively. And, you know, our defensive coaches have really put that toughness, bringing that toughness to our program mentality. And, you know, you win championships being good on the defense side of the ball. And, you know, they just get that. And, uh, I think we have 19 of them here today, and most of them have been with us all four years and we're really leaning on them for one to take us to taking that another big step but also showing our younger classmen how it's going to be done here in the future.